here today in relation to the arrest of John McMurdo. He was arrested on Friday. He was subsequently charged in the early hours of Sunday morning in relation to offences of making and possessing child abuse images. He appeared at uh, court this morning and was subsequently remanded into custody. The issue here really is that um, it's already become uh, public knowledge that uh, Mr McMurdo is a member of the Scout Movement. He volunteered and supported two particular groups in Plymouth. Um, what I would say is a clear distinction the fact that the images that he's been charged with, there's no evidence of any sexual activity between adults and children within those images, and there's no evidence to show that any of those images contain images of anybody we'd engage with in the Scout Movement. Of course we're working with the Scouts throughout, we recognise the impact on the families concerned, and for that reason we're making contact with all the families um, from a point of view of really looking at their concerns they may have, answering those concerns and perhaps reassuring them that this is a different um, set of circumstances to the Vanessa George case where some parallels have already been drawn. So, no, lovely. Um, <laughs> is there any link with the Vanessa George case? No, uh, not at all. Oh, or a wider paedophile network? No, I think it's very early stages. This is an online investigation. Yeah. So by the very nature of online, there will be other people that have been contacted in relation to it. Um, but like I say, it's in the very early stages. Too early to actually say uh, what the level of um, activity is. I understand that uh, one of the charges was that he withheld his encryption key. Does that mean that the police haven't actually seen everything on his computer? No, we haven't yet. In fact, it's, uh, it would be unusual to have seen everything on his computer. Uh, there was a quite a significant amount of digital media that was seized. All of that has to go through a, a forensic examination. We're talking about a case that happened uh, this weekend. It does take time to do that. Good evidence does take time. And I think it's, in, um, it's also important to realise that the actual offence he's been charged with, um, quite a new offence, but it's a powerful bit of legislation, so the people do encrypt, don't want to give their key up, um, they risk being charged in relation to that. He's, he's connected with three from the scout groups. How many are the children involved? We estimate around about 60 families uh, potentially um, use those scout groups. It's actually two scout groups. Um, there was another one which has uh, since folded, so there's two active ones. You're contacting the families involved? Yes. And how are they reacting? Um, I've left that piece of work at the moment, I can't give you an answer to that. What I will say is that we do recognise that they are going to be concerned, they are going to draw parallels to other cases, um, and certainly Mr McMurdo went to court today charged with offences of indecent images, um, and we want to reassure them that we've got no evidence at this time that those images relate to any children of the Scout Movement. Have the children been identified at all? No. Um, are any more serious charges expected? Again, um, too early to say at this time.